I just figured out what one of the best decks you can use is for the challenge that just came out, and I am undefeated for real this time. Mmm, it's an orange juice. Welcome to season 14, prepare for war. First things first, we gotta activate the pass. Infinite continues are just way too juicy not to get it. Plus this challenge, Hecken has two rewards in there. You got Mega Knight and you have Sparky in there. This is legit, we're 5-2, but here's why. We were actually 5-0 with this deck. I entered the challenge and I was thinking, okay, I wanna see if there's double elixir, or if there's gonna spawn more troops on there. Turns out it's a pretty bland challenge that there aren't really any mechanics on. It just restricts you and the cards that you can build. And it's gonna be high damage cards like Mega Knight, Mini P.E.K.K.A, Magic Archer, all that stuff. So I lost the first one thinking, okay, maybe people won't be able to counter the Sparky. I was wrong. That was a terrible deck. All right, I see the errors in my way. So I'm gonna do a Mega Knight. And I'm gonna do Mini P.E.K.K.A. To, the Mini P.E.K.K.A. is gonna counter all of the tanks. Magic Archer's gonna... I was wrong. Completely wrong. Turns out P.E.K.K.A. Double Prince is the classic deck to go. And we're actually undefeated with this challenge with this deck. You don't really have any spell options. The reason why I went with this deck is because Earthquakes, I, I still don't think it's a great spell. Arrows, I don't really see because you, you would need a really heavy bait deck on here and I don't see Skeleton Barrel. I don't see too many things. People don't even have access to Goblin Gang. You'll have Skarmy there. And that brings me to my second point. We have Zap because Skarmy is rampant in this challenge. And because everyone has Zap, or they should at least, that's why I have guards to stop the P.E.K.K.A., the Prince, and everything else. This deck is uncontested. It is undefeated. Now, it is a little outdated to use Electro Wizard in this deck, but it's a safety precaution for if there's going to be a Sparky, you're going to want an easy counter to that. I, I develop decks for these challenges, not because they're the number one deck with the highest win rate in the world. The highest win rates are always going to be like Goblin Bait or 2.6, but you have to be really good at that deck. You have literally the people that have a 90% win rate with those bait decks are the ones that have been playing it for four years. And I don't like to recommend decks that are really hard to master and hard to play to be good at. I like to recommend decks that you can just literally pick up. I haven't played P.E.K.K.A. Double Prince since probably 2016, this exact variation. So I have no clue how it works, but I'm still 5-0 in this. And I especially think it's really important for me to share decks that actually work because you have Mega Knight and Sparky, and these are pretty huge rewards. So to me, this is a deck that's easy to pick up and you'll get eight wins with it. Wait, did I enter in code OJ for the season pass? I hope I did. I always forget. Let's do a Dark Prince back there. While he's loading his P.E.K.K.A., I'm gonna turn on my lights, bada bing. But a red. Ah, uh, no. Purple. Purple. There we go. Did I miss anything? I didn't. I'm good. Alright. Oh my goodness. He let the Dark Prince connect in the Pekko in the back there. That was 800 damage. Oh. Beautiful. We got guards there. The Electro Dragon's gonna wreck my guards, but that's fine. I'm gonna wait for that just a little bit. Bum. Prince. Didn't get any hits from the Pekka. That flawless zap timing was amazing. He's got the log. Why would he carry the log? It's it's nerfed. All right, he's got the zap runes there. That's fine. That was quite the damage. We're off to a good start. I'm gonna do a dark prince in the back, and he's got a Pekka. This time he learned his lesson on the Pekka. So we'll do a mega minion right there, just so that it'll converge into the center on my side when the Pekka crosses. He's got an electro dragon. I'm just gonna delay. My Electro Wizard. I don't even know if I need... Yeah, I definitely did not need guards in there. Good call, OJ. Good call. Okay, anyways, get, get back to the push. That's the second reason why I have Zap. Is because I want to deal with Sparkies as well. There's going to be a lot of Sparkies. Oh my goodness, it connected. Let's do... Oh, goodness, that is obnoxious. We have to defend that Sparky now. And I'm going to do a P.E.K.K.A in the back because he's going to want to counter something big with my Dark Prince. Of course it's the P.E.K.K.A. He's in the right track. I like him. He knows what's up. He's got P.E.K.K.A and Sparky. Oh, I am I am fine with that, the log. We'll, we'll do a Dark Prince in the front. Oh, frick. Okay, well, I missed the shield there. That's fine. That P.E.K.K.A is going to survive just long enough. Electro Wizard connects. There we go. I had a little misplay there, but it's fine. We'll do a poison just to send a message, but that's gonna be it. I'm gonna s just do a Mega Minion in the back. Play it safe a little bit. Maybe play it even safer with some music. But that's gonna be it. This, this deck is versatile. Nothing can get through. 
if you play it right. I don't want no comments in the second. I always get people commenting down below, this deck sucks. I have news for you. It's not the deck. <laughs> That's all, I'll leave it at that. So we got the Mega Knight there. For real, there's, oh, there's Goblin Gang. I'm blind. I said there wasn't Goblin Gang earlier. I'm totally gonna have people in the comments that only watched a few minutes in and they're gonna say, there, but OJ, there, is, there are Goblin Gang on there. All right, I admit I'm wrong. If I didn't mess up the Zap and the Sparky, that would have been in an absolute domination. My Dark Prince wouldn't have wasted a shield. It would have been just perfection. Oh my goodness, everybody and their Sparkies. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Zap that Sparky. Oh my goodness. That would have been so much damage for my Dark Prince. I'm just gonna do a Mega Minion. Ah, I did the Mega Minion too high. Now it's gonna cross the bridge. Uh, maybe we'll do an Electro Wizard there. And then I'm gonna tank that Ice Wizard with my Dark pr or with my regular Prince. So my Electro Wizard stays at full health. Now he's gotta deal with this massive push. Electro Wizard does not die to Fireball, sir. Oh my goodness, when you have to do an Electro Wizard to counter that, I'm bridge spamming. You're down so much. Show me your Goblin Gang. Show me your Skarmie. I know you have something. Nah, he's down too much. All right, well, he's got he's got a mini packa. He's I'm up like four elixir right now, so that's good. Just based on the fact that his mini packa was planted so late, and I was already sitting at three elixir. So we've got a pekka in the back. Let's see if we can support it with anything. I'm gonna do a mega minion or something. Oh my goodness! Always with the sparkies. Pekka's gonna have a hard time connecting right now. I could zap it. And he's gonna have freaking ice gold. Ugh. Fine, I'll poison your silly ice wizard. Wow, he really had to go all out on that. He's not gonna have anything once that crosses the bridge. He's not gonna have anything to support that Sparky. So I can I'm not gonna be afraid to just go straight up on my Electro Wizard. And then I'm gonna tank that Electro Wizard with the Dark Prince. Oh, the Dark Prince with the shield. I love it. Electro Wizard at full health connecting to the tower. That's where the money's at. And I want to go super aggressive on him, so I'm going to do a Prince just so that I can counterattack. I could have done guards, but I want to go on the more aggressive now. And then I'm going to do a P.E.K.K.A. on that side. I might just ignore that Ice Wizard. If it doesn't cross into the other lane, we're good. Oh my goodness, and my Prince hit the Ice Wizard. That just made that Ice Wizard extremely non-threatening. Let's wait a little bit. Zaparuni's there. I'll do a Dark Prince in the back because I, I don't really see my P.E.K.K.A. doing much. You know it's bad when you have to plant something down like that. We got the Prince. The Dark Prince. To tank for that mini P.E.K.K.A. Or that um, Sparky there. That's beautiful. I'm going to just rush the bridge right now. Uh-uh. Mama P.E.K.K.A.'s got, got everything right now. We're bridge spamming. He's down way too much. We have 14 licks on the map. There's no way you can defend against this. That's basically it. It was a good sport about it, so it's a good game. Undefeated. Strike when the opportunity is right. We're 7-0 with this deck. Let's see if we can get the Sparky to close that sweet deal. Maybe I'll do a Mega Minion in the back. Keep it safe, you know? He's got a Sparky and he's got emotes going on. I like, I like where this is headed. So far, only a musketeer. Okay, I can deal with that. Yep. Beautiful. I took out his stuff. He took out my stuff. But I got poison on the tower, so I am the winner. I kind of want to do a bit of a more aggressive push without overcommitting too much elixir. So instead of doing the P.E.K.K.A., I'm just going to do the Prince in the back. He's got a Mega Knight. No way. Hard countered. That's the thing about this deck. You have Prince. You have the P.E.K.K.A. There's going to be so many Mega Knights. I'm going to let that cross the bridge. I'm gonna let, wait for it, wait for it. Now I go for the guards. There we go. Skeleton Dragon dealing so much damage. It's his Dark Gobby taking everything out. I don't like it. I don't want that Dark Gobby connecting. Oh, it connects. My bad timing on the Dark Prince. Alright. We're gonna have to do a Mega Minion. We didn't even have to do a Mega Minion. That P.E.K.K.A. wasn't strong enough. If I was a little bit faster on that zap, that Mega Minion would have actually connected to the tower. Oh, he was scared anyways. I like it. He is throwing stuff down very fast. This is questionable. I don't like it. It's going to be double elixir. Let's see if he puts a Mega Knight. Nah, he doesn't put a Mega Knight. Alright, we're cool with that. Nothing down yet. Alright. 
I don't want no musketeer connecting. If he puts down a Mega Knight, then we're good. Maybe I'll poison those Spear Gobbies. And then we'll put down a Mega Knight there. Maybe the Mega Minion to take out the... That Dark Gobby. Yes, that's all we needed. Not enough anti-air. Oh, that's, that's totally cool. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the Dark Prince. This is the kind of tank for that. And he's going to be down quite a bit now. He was not down that much. Oh dear, we got we got to poison that. That dark gobbly is not good news. Okay, we'll just do a we'll just straight do a Pekka at the bridge. Oh my goodness, so many things going on. Come on, big mama Pekka, do your thing. Nothing's connecting. All right, Electro Wizard connected. It's a slow. And steady game. We just gotta wait it out until double elixir, but there's no way he's connecting. He's panicking. Double prince. It's too strong. I'm just gonna poison that out. Oh my goodness. Dark Goblin into the poison? That's dangerous. Alright, Peck in the back. He's probably gonna try and do a Mega Knight on the other side. I can do a prince if I cycle back. No, he does a he does a Mega Knight in the back? Into my P.E.K.K.A? Yes, please! I'm gonna have to do an Electro Wizard just right there. Maybe a Dark Prince. Oh yeah, we gotta zap that. That's, that's too value. Nope, that's it, that's it. We just defeated the entire push. Fireball does not take out Electro Wizard. One connection, 48 damage. That's the final 8-0 victory with this deck. Even though I was struggling in the beginning to take out his towers or deal any damage at all, he couldn't deal any damage to me. He, he could not get through. I perfectly counter everything. This deck is versatile. Play really defensively. Just keep defending until something happens. Don't push. Don't bridge spam. Don't put things at the bridge. You want those two legendary cards at six wins and eight wins. And if you, if you still can't do that with these tips, you're gonna need the season pass, but if you do get the season pass, make sure you use code OJ. Thank you for that. Perfect. 8-0 with this deck. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We went a flawless 8-0. We started 0-2 with this deck and we went to the full 8-0. I'm kind of glad that last battle took place. You could see that it was a struggle to penetrate his defenses, but it did work out overall in the end. Just had to play really patiently and wait for an opening until you just have you suddenly magically have this massive counter push because he overcommitted. And you just had a ton of defense going on. And so that one P.E.K.K.A. swing is going to end the entire game. But yeah, that's going to be it. Stay tuned for more quality Code OJ.